Hmm. We're already off to a bad start. Aren't we? Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna be doing this. Yeah. Hopefully this emulates well. I've never played this emulated. Just just a new game. Let's do this. Yeah, I figured I wanted to play through this like just I wanted to. Just for shits, but I figured, you know what? Let's just talk through it too. Shining Force 2 isn't over. I'm, I'm going to be using this as like an incentive. Like, oh, while I'm recording Final Fantasy 7, I should probably do a battle of Shining Force 2. Oh boy, stars. I'm tr trying to figure out if I should be, be... I usually try to keep spoilers away, but this is Final Fantasy 7. Like, come on, man. I'm already jumping on the bandwagon here. Oh yeah, another thing. If you like Ares, stop watching this video right now. Because I fucking hate her, and I'm going to insult her at every moment's notice. Oh, Jesus Christ, I hate her. Speaking of cocksuckers... Ugh. I remember when this used to wow people. Like, oh my god, it's a PlayStation 1 graphics. Ugh. I think that's why people are like Final Fantasy 7 and 10. First other generation, which is funny because you think Final Fantasy 13 would do that, but no. Didn't wow no one. Man, look at those Legos. 625. It's... Miko! No, I, I'm acting like I don't. I'm like, oh, this game's terrible now. I, this Final Fantasy VII was the first PS1 game I ever bought, and yes, everything applies to me. I played it, I was obsessed with it, I thought it was the best thing ever. I know better now, and but I played this game enough anyways, I guarantee I beat this game like 20 times. I can tear it apart. I just ripped this game. So far, it seems alright. I didn't hear that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they look so bad. Come on, you come and follow me. First of all... There is a lag. Hold on a second. Pause the recording for a second because my controls are messed up. Okay, that's better. For some reason, I was like, just changed everything for no reason. Anyways, we are ex soldier! I need to config this. Alright, so. Uh, recommended. Sorry, just put, gotta put everything where I enjoy it. I'll keep the color normal. Alright, we don't need to check anything else. Yeah, potion. Oh no. Two blue guys. I thought I'd put a fix on that. Hmm. No swirl. That's gonna suck. This is easy. These guys are pathetic. This this would probably would mean something if they actually made us start this game at level one. Yay! <laughs> oh, you know I've never tried running away from that battle. I wonder if you can run away and keep yourself level six. I doubt it very much. Hey, hey, Biggs. Oh, I forgot to put a field message up. What is he doing with us in Avalanche? So he was in Soldier! <sighs> my name? Why, my name is... Yeah, I'll just keep it Cloud. I could call him Claude. Which is jobs over, I'm out of here. Ugh. Meet up in front of it. Don't 
trust you. Well, fuck you, too. I don't trust you, so I'm gonna give you my name, which is Barrett. I'm gonna teach you how to fucking run. here, but there's such a low encounter rate, right? you probably won't. You might have one. Yeah, like this one. Okay, that swirl is actually going to piss me off. I don't know why. It's minor. It doesn't mean anything, but whatever. Two more soldiers. We could have uh, faced, like, dog here, I think. The dog, um... It's the dog. Bites you for a little damage, and he has like a tentacle, which is a little bit more. I think they're slightly stronger than those guys. Ooh, they dropped a potion. Let's just go up here. Yo! This is your first time reactor. Did work for Shinra. Mako. I've been playing Star Wars The Old Republic. I'm gonna keep seeing Mako and think I'm supposed to send my companion out for something. That's it. You're coming with me from now on, and now Eric just joins us, and that's it. We have him. Alright, let's look at stats. Cloud is overpowered. He is good at everything except dexterity and spirit, which are average. Actually, I think his spirit's still good anyways. But no matter what you do with him, he's always going to be amazing. Bear is uh, an odd character because he's built like a tank, but he's, for the most part, long range. So it makes him a good tank, I guess? I don't know. You can't go wrong with using Bear. He's, d he's rock solid. If that's a pun. Code decipher, code decipher. Apparently this code involves pressing a button. Um, I think it might be just a sec here. Okay, I was probably just pressing it wrong. Phoenix, yeah. The diagonals, like pressing left and right at the same time, are being a bit... Uh, Iffy. Push that button. This one? They all look like buttons. Just press O until something works. Ah, uh, another cutscene. And that'll be that. And? It's not my problem. It's everyone's problem. The planet's dying. For Robo Guards. Why doesn't he understand? <laughs> WHY DO PEOPLE HAVE TO HAVE OPINIONS?! Ah, uh, just run down here. Ugh. Oh. Battle. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna try and get that swirl fixed. Oh, these guys are even more pathetic because they don't do anything else other than this extremely long, drawn-out laser attack. one level lower than us, and he always joins one level lower than you, which is always six. Unless you, like, grind out in that one area and make him a late, which I ask why. Because this screen, if you're going to grind, this screen's the best place to do it. Like in all of Midgar. Oh, crap. I just modded that. that took a long time. <laughs> but it should be working actually quite perfectly now. Probably different aspect ratio, but whatever.
Haha, see? <laughs> Alright, um, for these guys, Bear can't quite kill the blue ones. Make him attack the back ones. Um, the back ones, basically, they're the ones going, warning, warning, and then after that, they'll start casting fire on Barry. I don't know, a lot of enemies really like to attack Barry. The blue ones don't care, but those fire things, yeah, always Barry. That's 80 experience. That's a lot of experience. Um, you can have that same battle, except there's three of those eye plant things. There's your cave. Oh, yeah, whatever. But yeah, if you want to grind, this area right here is actually really good. In fact, it holds up for the entire time you're in the city. Because the most experience I think you can get from here is like 90-something. This is like the worst battle for experience. Oh, like, wait a crit me, asshole. Beam gun is surprisingly not a long-range move. Also, you notice I didn't put Bear in the back row. Um, if he's in the front, his limit builds up faster. Because as you get hit, your limit goes up. It, your limit's basically how fucking angry you are. And if they keep hitting Bear, he is going to absolutely be absolutely furious soon. Yeah, at 66, that's actually the worst experience you can get on this screen. No, we do, because I'm going to level up once and then move on. Overall, this is not a, easy, or not a hard area, obviously. It would be stupid if it started out in an extremely hard area. Like, say, well, I don't know, Elder Scrolls Arena. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can get back attacked by this group. Which is alright for Barrett, but for Cloud, he's got to change. You press left to change. The other one's not going, fuck you. When you use your limit, you always go first. And basically she's use a ball of fire, energy, whatever. Thanks, Cloud, you're helping. Let's defend. Yeah. Should probably explain more things, but I'll do them as we go. Actually, uh, hold on. Run out magic. He has he's got ice and bolt. He doesn't. It's better to use bolt because everything's a robot here. Man, the counter rate is really high for some reason. Usually it's pretty bad. Okay, this is where you, This is the best battle, and we caught him by surprise, so that's awesome. Kill the two blue ones if you get this to happen. Because those guys are going to waste time telling me that they saw me. Which surprisingly doesn't turn them around. See, when it doesn't use fire, it just does that pathetic attack. That's literally the weakest physical attack in the game. Unless you count uh, the mini status. Yeah, 98, that's good experience. But that's all I want. Yeah, I just want, was, um, I was playing Shining Force 2, and it's like, you know, Shining Force 2 is one of the first RPGs. I was like, I figure I also might as well play one, another one of the first RPGs I played. Yeah, let's make a legit save. Uh, when I was fiddling with the video, I save stated so I could do it easily. I didn't, didn't want to, like, go ahead. I fight the thing I want to show off? Yes, I will. Those things are actually kind of tough. You need to cast mat. It's better to cast bolt on them. They do, uh, they shoot you with a gun, and I think they use smoke screen. Smoke shot, whatever. That actually kind of hurt, didn't it? Did Barrett kill that one in one shot? Maybe a strength went up in the level. Barrett has a, um, a lot of HPs, it, and 
he's one of the few characters that can actually outdo Cloud in a few things. If you get really lucky, Barrett can actually keep up with Cloud in strength. Yeah, that's how overpowered he is. That guy, big, huge, black man, has a chance of maybe being as strong as that little white spiky hair guy. <laughs> We have no key items on. By type, I always arrange by type. I don't understand the rest of these, whatever. Most of these, why would you do that? 1998. Oh yeah, restore material. No, you've officially won the game. Yes. You could literally get away by just equipping restore material and then just auto-attacking everything. Well, there's a few cases where... Why? This isn't just a reactor. What's wrong? The, the brown acid's kicking in, that's what's wrong. I'm getting the fear. Oh no, it's a boss. <laughs> Now, this guy literally fight. Okay, another reason why I'm doing this is because one of my uh, friends who I'm subscribed to, Time Travel After, is playing through Final Fantasy VI right now. Now, watch this ba the boss battle and the first boss battle in that. They're exactly the same. That's why a lot of people. Well, I consider Final Fantasy VII to be Final Fantasy VI version 2.0 because the story is exactly the same and a lot of things are just way too similar. I simply would have called it Overhead Slash, but what do I know? I'm not the guy that thought he did a good job translating this game. No, you did not do an alright job. You did a passable job. It's not Capcom bad. You want a bad translation? You play... Well, without, like, you know, z Zero Wings and stuff like that. But, play Breath of Fire 2. Did I make him Slash? That was dumb of me. Make him just use keep bolt. Yeah, just bolt a lot. Oh no! He's gonna counterattack because I'm gonna attack him while his tail's up. See, it's just like Welk. Except you can't hurt Welk while he's in this stance. Let's do 75, yeah, so that's 75 damage. Also known as, thanks for the limit, you dumbass. Ah, uh, it has magic damage too. Alright, that's all I wanted. I'll wait now. He's dead, Jim. He's so dead. Okay, maybe he's not dead. Maybe he will be after this. No. I'm surprised. Oh yeah, it takes a while for, like, search scope. He has to search you and then attack. Search you, then attack. Welk at least did something every turn. Well, I guess he's dead. Salt gun. Ooh, that's a weapon for Barrett. Because right now his default weapon is slightly weaker than Cloud's, and that gun brings him up to speed. Ten minutes? Oh god, no, please. I mean, it's not like it's way too much time and I have enough time to equip this. You gain any strength. Oh, wow, he's got more strength than Cloud. And vitality. And dexterity? <laughs> Congratulations, Cloud. He's faster than you. Though I don't understand why it's called dexterity, because I think agility would make more sense. Dexterity is like how good you are with your fingers, is it not? Well, no. It would make more sense if it was called speed, I guess. Because that's what it determines, how fast you are in battle. Nope, didn't save, don't care. If I get game over in this game, it's because I did it on purpose. You can't go forward unless you talk to this woman. Yes, a woman. Hmm. 
I always try and see if I can manage to catch up to her, but I never can. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I think... I once grinded until it was like... Two minutes left. I still managed to get out in time. From that uh, ladder screen with Jesse. Now, if this is only like Final Fantasy VIII and your limit break could happen when you are uh, in critical, which is why that game is so broken. So broken. So what? Final Fantasy VIII is not a very well made game. I don't care if you like it, but you have to admit it's not very well made. The game is so easily exploitable, it's not even funny. That's gonna be real fun when I play through that. Oops, spoilers. I feel like I'm forgetting something. No, I'm not. Seriously. Like, the code is a button. Mind you, if, like, if there's, like, like, 50 buttons, and if you press the wrong one, they kill you, sure. Ugh, so long. I guess you, this could suck if you had, like, really constant battles with just these guys. Because, oh, so slow. I saw a light code. Oh, we gotta get out of here, but we still have time to cheer. Yay. Good for him. Cutscene. <laughs> Zip zap. Kaboom! There goes number seven reactor. Is it number seven? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> this is good to play. Yeah, okay. Nod. Okay, everyone get back. I want to set off this bomb for no apparent reason. Because it looked like there was debris in the way anyways. Oh, we're all fine. It's not like a, a fire just almost incinerated us. Alright. Rendezvous right. at Sector 8. No prob, Bob. Hey, hey! It's fact your money, save it to the hideout. You can also save it until next video. So when you join me next time, we're gonna get away from this incredibly bad flame thing. I will see you then.